Good afternoon, everybody. From the Williams Sports Sun Gazette, I'm Mitch Rupert, standing alongside our sports editor, Ben Burgandy. Ben, we're standing here outside of Bowman Field on a Tuesday afternoon. Uh, Mayor Campana here in Williamsport in the, the new Williamsport Outlaws hockey team of the Federal Ho Hockey League just held their introductory press conference about hockey coming to Bowman Field. Ben, it was an interesting press conference. Uh, nonetheless, uh, they, they took the time to answer about the outdoor rink they're going to have here. Can you just kind of give me your opinions on what went on and, and what was said here by both Mayor Campana and the team? It's been a very interesting day, to say the least. This is a day I never thought would happen. But the team is here. They are committed to building an outdoor rink at their own expense. And they are going to try and make a go of it. And they hope that 2,000 people will come watch outdoor hockey at Bowman Field from late October through the middle of January. There are, of course, a lot of questions that need to be resolved. And some of them are, how is this going to work? This is just such a completely new thing, an outdoor rink. I think there is some potential for excitement for the general public, because it's not just for the team. Campana, the mayor, said that only about 15% of the time is this going to be used by the team, so the rest, in theory, is open for public skating. We'll see how that works. We will see if the community is ready to embrace a public rink, whether or not they will want to buy skates, rent skates, come here on a cold night. It's certainly a different option from the normal things to do on a cold night in December. It will be interesting to see what happens. It was interesting. Uh, I think the big, the big thing we saw was Mayor Campana pointed out, this is not going to cost any taxpayer money. No money, it seems, from uh, Williamsport coffers here from the budget. It's actually going to bring in $15,000 in rental money from the new, new Williamsport Outlaws to rent the Bowman Field facilities. The, the paperwork of getting things done between the Outlaws and the Crosscutters who house Bowman Field year-round, hold the liquor license here at Bowman Field, that has yet to be worked out. But for all the questions there are, to hear that this is not going to cost city money, that it's going to bring in $15,000, is that at least one positive in this whole thing? As long as the $15,000 is enough to cover any expenses incurred by the team, such as extra maintenance, winterizing Bowman Field, just keeping the thing open toward the general public over the winter. I mean, we have a copy of the contract in this folder, and it's spelled out that only you know, city money will not be used for this. What is also uh, not in the contract is anything beyond this year. This league is in its third year. This team is in its second year. It debuted last year in Wayne, New Jersey. It is relocating because it sees this as a better opportunity. And like any new league, you're going to have fits and starts and peaks and valleys. This league is entering its third year of existence where a handful of other Northeast independent leagues like the Federal Hockey League have folded after one year. So this league does have that going for it long-term things in minor leagues, if you are not affiliated with a major professional team like the Williamsport Crosscutters are with the Philadelphia Phillies, it is rare. This arrangement, the look and feel of this team is going to be entirely different from the Crosscutters, and I think people are going to have to get, it's just going to have, people are just going to have to get used to a different look and feel of this. The novelty is going to be great. I think that's something we can both agree yeah. on. You know, and for uh, the first couple of weeks of the season, they might be able to hit that 2,000 attendance mark that they're looking for. Uh, the general manager of the team has said this is going to cost them about 200 to $225,000 total in staffing costs, in rink costs, and to be able to break even, they're going to need those 2,000 fans a game. Then the Crosscutters average 1,800 a game this year in sunny 80 degree weather as this year it's been 90 degree weather. Do you think maybe the team, the mayor, are being a little overly optimistic about what attendance might be? Perhaps, I think one concern they one concern they may find is they, whether or not they mentioned it today, and they didn't. They're going to be competing with local high school, keep high school teams for fans. Uh, the Crosscutters will tell you that during the summer months, they compete for the entertainment dollar with things like going to the movies. In the winter, the same thing holds true, except you have local sports fans, local high school teams. They're going to have nights this winter where the Williams 
Passport Outlaws are playing on the field the same night that Muncie Wrestling is home. Montoursville is playing Montgomery in basketball. Montoursville is playing Jersey Shore in basketball. And uh, the sports fans are going to have some decisions to make. That may not be a bad thing. No, it's always good to have options, especially in the winter when we all know it can get those doldrums of the winter where you're in a rut going bowling going to the movies, sitting at home. So this will be nice and something new. I think, though, we're seeing that a little overly optimistic from both the team and the mayor, but it's good to have options, and that's what we have here. That'll do it for us here from the uh, in front of Bowman Field from the Williams Sports Sun Gazette. I'm Mitch Rupert, standing alongside sports editor Ben Burgandy. We'll talk to you later.